Hello Wolves! You will never, never in a billion years guess what I watched this week. Well I mean if, you, if you've read the title you might be able to make an educated guess. Yes the boys, a show on Amazon that has quickly become one of my favourites and it is entirely fucked up. The show is completely fucked up. The show is definitely not for people that prefer their superheroes on the lighter side. The show is of course based on a comic book written by Garth Ennis who wrote Preacher so you can kind of tell his type of style. <laughs> the comic book is arguably more fucked up than the show. I say arguably because we're only on season one and they can pack a lot more into season two. So I thought I'd do a couple of comic book origin videos for some of the boys' characters because we've seen their TV counterpart and now we're gonna have a look at their comic book counterpart just to see if they differ in any way. In this video, we'll be talking about the Michael Caine sounding Billy Butcher. Billy Butcher, who prefers to be called Butcher, was a Royal Marine and was happily married to his wife Becky. His childhood was hard, his father was an angry man who abused and tormented his mother. This led to Billy hating his father and this childhood moulds him into the man he is. After noticing that he and his wife had gained some distance in their marriage, Butcher wakes up in the middle of the night to find his wife Becca dead next to him. Her body had been disemboweled by a baby, a superpowered baby that attacks Butcher with its heat vision. Butcher disposes and honestly that is the nicest way to put what he does to this baby. The loss of his wife shatters him. Billy reads his wife's diary which is a serious breach in privacy and I really hope she didn't hide it under her pillow like mine is. In the diary it actually states that she was sexually assaulted by a superhero known as the Homelander. Enraged and wanting revenge for his beloved wife, he becomes a member of a team called the Boys. He was recruited by the leader Mallory. The whole point of the Boys is to keep superheroes in check and to eliminate them if needed. So the team consisted of Mallory, Mother's Milk, Frenchie and of course Butcher. After the team breaks up, Butcher wants to reassemble his team but he needs a new member to replace Mallory. He refuses to return due to his granddaughter's death at the hands of Lamplighter, all because of his involvement in this group. Butcher took an instant shining to Huey Campbell. Seeing the similarities between them, both his wife Becca and Huey's girlfriend Robin were killed by superheroes. He also notes that he always wanted a little brother. Butcher also has a loyal companion in his bulldog named Terra who he is extremely protective over. He actually had a small cameo in the show, like a five second cameo in one episode. That's it. Sorry, I don't know if we're gonna get more next season or, or maybe he lives with Becky, I don't know. All of the boys, including Billy and Huey, have been injected with Compound V. Uh, something that hasn't happened in the show uh, that we know of, maybe this has happened to them, maybe they are actually superheroes who were injected when they were babies, I don't know, we don't know this yet. Or maybe this is something they'll do to themselves in future seasons to try and and make them on level with the superheroes. So this increases strength and stamina etc making it far easier for them to keep up with the soups. Even the most powerful superhero group, the Seven, are wary of him and his group. Billy later learns that it wasn't a Homelander that sexually assaulted his wife but the Homelander's clone Black Noir and he finally gets his revenge. Butcher's loyal, smart, calculating, ruthless and has a refined code of honour. But the end of his story comes from the very man he first recruited, Huey. Or we Huey, as he's called in the comics. After a fight with M.M. Mother's Milk that ends with Butcher killing him, he is confronted by Huey. Another fight happens and both men fall off the Empire State Building. Did I not mention they were fighting on top of the Empire State Building? Well, they were fighting on top of the Empire State Building. Because of the fall, Butcher becomes paralysed, his back broken. He admits to Huey that he was the one that killed M.M. and continues to push Huey into a state of rage by informing him that he was the one to kill Huey's adoptive parents, which he didn't, it was a lie, he didn't kill him at all. But infuriated, Huey kills Billy by slamming a metal spike into his chest and Butcher dies with a smile on his face. Kinda hope they don't go down that route for the TV show because Carl Urban. So that is the origin for Billy Butcher or William Butcher or Butcher or Mr. Butcher, whatever you want to call him. Probably don't call him Mr. Butcher. I finished the boys within three or four days because we 
we tried to do two episodes a night but there was a couple of nights where I needed one because I kept falling asleep but I really did enjoy it anyway I hope you enjoyed this video um, I really want to do some for the other characters if you're interested in that please let me know because I don't want to just do it and bombard you with like eight new origin videos on these characters I'm thinking of doing Homelander next so if you want that please let me know leave a comment down below I'm sure there's loads of bits that I've missed because um, you know it's the same for any superhero origin or any comic book character origin there are going to be huge chunks that I miss because I can't recite every single issue that this person or animal or object has been in and I apologise for that but it's just a way of life if you would like to know more in-depth stuff like that either ask for a full in-depth video or go read a comic book <laughs> anyway I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did thumbs down if you didn't it's your opinion uh, let me know what you thought of the boys what you thought of this video I have a Instagram a Twitter that has only four followers <laughs> it's really lonely over on Twitter and a Tumblr and I will see you next time bye little wolves bye <laughs> Oh, I